any new skill is about <clears throat> these three dimensions. Training, practice, and feedback. And we'll use these touch points, which together are called the training triangle, um, to shape our time together today. So it's really important to remember that this is a constant cycle. Um, improving your science communication is an ongoing iterative process, and it occurs throughout your career, just like honing your skills as a scientist. Um, you continue to practice to face new challenges, new obstacles, and you continue to learn and grow as a science communicator. A lot of you may already be good science communicators, it might be part of your job right now, but we can all up our game. And also, just to remember that science communication is a lot like drawing. On the surface, it seems simple until you actually try to draw the owl. <laughs> so, um, we're going to dive into a few key principles of effective science communication. These principles are based on a really well-developed and growing body of uh, peer-reviewed literature on the science of science communication. But first, you know, remember that more often than not, this is the context in which you are communicating. And in case you can't read the text, it says, I don't know why I don't care about the bottom of the ocean, but I don't. Right? So, when people don't care about something that you think is super important and amazing or interesting or really relevant to their lives, that can be incredibly frustrating. So one way we often deal with this is to simply blast people with more information. The fire hose effect, right? Lots of scientists employ this strategy. Um, you've likely experienced it personally and you've probably been guilty of doing it yourselves. I definitely have. Um, it's really easy to do, and it is a hard habit to break. The issue is, when we are asked to communicate something complex, we often want to start from the very beginning and explain every single thing that we know, but being on the receiving end of that is really frustrating, and that's pretty boring, right? A lot of 